Welcome back to ES6 Tutorials where you will get to know the new standards for writing the JavaScript. And here comes my favorite arrow functions. Ding, 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 ding. So why we use arrow function? Actually, why they exist? So for simple answer, the answer is because they are short, simple and inline. Okay, but what does that mean? Okay, so to understand this, I will just create a array called games and first one is Pokemon Go and after that I have to say Hika Pika then uh, Mario ting 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 then counter strike so counter strike <laughs> that was a gun sound okay so we have these games here so let's create a map system so games that means games dot map and function function accept map returning and console log game dot length length reload this page and Oops, uh, O E E O O R. Yeah, there should be game. Okay, so 9, 5, 13, the length of these strings. Okay, that's very nice. But here comes our arrow function. So, for creating an arrow function, you just have to delete this function keyword. Ding. Then, after the variable or the uh, parameter you have decided you have to give this equal sign then greater than sign which will become an fat arrow so double head arrow whatever you call but it will still remain the arrow function so here it's that reload this page and ta -da 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 -da, same result because this is the new way of defining the functions that's very nice but what about the short simple and inline i have not seen that thing okay so what i can do because i have only one statement going on here what i can do i can remove these curly braces from here like this and like this now reload Ta -da 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 -da. same exactly because you can see it's having the same inline code which will looks quite nice okay so next what we can also do we can also remove these parentheses so and during also then let's reload and boom 9 5 13 again and all these things you can see how much easy to read very nice okay so let's see new thing let's suppose i want to get this first result how will i get so i will say let get game is a function and what this will return me this will return games so i must say return games and the first one okay call this function so get game and console log this so log not this one this one so ting 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 ting, ting, ting game okay reload this page and i have to firstly comment this ting, 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 ting yeah so it says return games what's going on here ah yeah okay that should be game as a function return reload pokemon go yeah pokemon pikachu okay get back so here instead of this what i can say because you can see i have not given any parameter here i don't have to give any parameter so what I can say like this, I can remove that function keyword as we have decided in the last section and then give this fat arrow, double head arrow, but arrow and we can remove this 
return from here move this at the top and it will still going to give same result but you can see because we are using arrow function we can get unexpected token return the main advantage of this arrow function is that you don't have to write this return keyword so it will automatically give you the return value so reload this page and pokemon go so you can see how much cleaner it is against this one so it's now have simple that's good short exactly and also the inline very good nice i like it okay so what else we can do what if i want to get the two values that means i want to get first and i want to get this one also sorry this one let's see the result pokemon go uh, mario no space uh uh we have learned something and what something is that the back ticks tick tick ta ta so here i can say this one and this one like that and similarly this and this with no space reload and pokemon go and mario is here but what if i have to give some other thing that means i have to compute the length also so i can give like that is that true so i have to say games dot length and let's see the result uh we are not getting that let's return that and we are getting illegal return statement so what i can do to have something else in my code now we can use this braces curly braces and here i can just say return and let's see the result 3 is here because now i have to give the return so if i say return here it will give 3 if i say return here it will give pokemon go and mario you can see how much easy all these things you can also oops where is that move this here and it will also work with no error okay so i like simple statements and why not use back ticks here also so this one and obviously that should be a a system not a statement reload pokemon go mario 3 uh, but we have only one mario okay doesn't matter okay so these are the mm -mm. so these are the main functionality of arrow functions which means you can even give a function without any parameter by just saying opening and closing of parenthesis so this is all about the arrow functions and if you like this episode don't forget to give it a thumbs up share this video with your developer friends and don't forget to subscribe and like on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode with some new features till then goodbye